Welcome back to my channel for another video. How is everyone doing today? Oh my goodness. Okay, so today's video is going to be some of my top favorite DIYs, some of my favorite DIY projects. Some of the things that I worked on, I just sat back and I was like, yes, girl, you did that. Or I was just so proud of myself. Um, on my lips, before I am asked, on my lips, I am wearing Maybelline's Color Sensation. I'll be um, I think this is in the new, new blood, one of the, part of their new collection, um, lipsticks in Espresso Exposed, I'm wearing that on my, all of my lips with a gold shimmery, uh, highlighter, yeah, a gold shimmery highlighter press into it for like that metallic look, I don't know, I don't know, I'm feeling it, I'm trying new things, whatever, so moving into the video, I love DIY. One of my first channels, one of my first videos on my channel was a DIY. I did a DIY crop top. I did three of them. I have been crafting DIY for a while, even before I started a YouTube channel. And I just wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite ones. Uh, one of the very first things I got was one of the very first things I thrifted. And I feel like I mentioned this in my thrift video. I may, It may have been a... Um, an honorable mention I can't remember but this is one of the very first things I thrifted along with like that green man's button up shirt this and that I can't remember which one came first but that's how old it is um it is this pink blazer this hot pink blazer I thrifted this back in 2012 13 cannot remember love this pink blazer I don't wear it as much as I used to back then but I still bring it out every now and then and I can't wait for the fall because this bad me and this bad boy has a fabric so I thought it would be cool if I paired that fabric with this blazer because it was just a plain pink blazer I liked it I loved it but it, it I needed it more you know I, I needed more so I have um had this pretty um toy cores blue fabric it's like satin fabric and I decided to attach it to the cuff of the blazer I didn't have a sewing machine I didn't know if I wanted to show me thread. so what I used was like liquid stitch or wonder tape like heat and bomb and as you can see now that it's not really secured in there this is like one of the first DIY projects I did like no lie and it's it's poorly constructed but it carried the look I absolutely love this and the I swear these sleeves just make it pop to like the next thing like you have this pink blazer which is a statement piece itself but then you have these these cuffs like girl let me show what you're doing and it paired perfectly with a necklace that I still only love that I got shortly after getting this like after I made this this was at my job and I picked it up like and post random by and it just works so well together like what are the odds it was meant to be something else i diy that was later in the future where i wanted i was going out of town and i realized i owned you no know, maxi skirts i had no maxi skirts or maxi dresses and i was going to atlanta for the week and i was like i need maxi skirts i begged my mom she gave me fifty dollars i went to hancock fabric shout out to hancock fabrics is where i got my start <laughs> they she gave me fifty dollars and I went and I brought two um two different types of fabrics, two yards each, and I literally hand sewed these. It took me almost a week to make these because I literally hand served these up again. The stitching is horrible because it's not straight. I was learning how to hand sew. Like I knew how to hand sew, but I didn't know how to hand sew complete entire garments. I put a waistband in here. The length is kind of wonky. Um, it goes all the way down to the floor. I kind of, I have to like, ooh. I have to like pick it up as I walk. This one, oh my goodness, the hemline for this one is horrendous. It's like free. It's like not straight. Like uh. But they held together. Like they held together through washes. I've been I've worn these. You probably have seen them on my Instagram. If not full style and key with Instagram. I love these skirts. These was like the first things, like first pieces of fabric I sold from scratch. Like beginning to end. Done and done. It it took me a week to sew them. But I love these. I'm gonna 
sit down one day and I'm gonna really fix this hemline. I'm either gonna cut this off or just like hide it or something because in zigzag stitches because it is not straight and it sprays and just look at that. Look at that. Crazy. But I was so proud of myself because I got I got my maxi skirts and I went to London looking too cute in my maxi skirts. I one of the biggest projects I took on and I took this on because it was my was it my 25th right there or my 26th birthday? I want to say it's my 26th birthday. I always wear purple with some form of aspect of my birthday, whether it's my hair, my nails. So I I asked my friend Chi Chi, who is first generation Nigerian. Did she know any African shops or where I could buy any African fabric in Cincinnati? I was still living in Cincinnati at the time and I didn't want to have to order something online because I was I didn't know how long it was gonna take. So she took me to a place that was like a grocery store style stars, three spy store slash fabric shop. Love it. They had the the Ghana fabric, the wax fabric for six yards for twenty five dollars. What? What? Six yards of fabric for twenty five dollars? Sign me up, please. Yes. So I went and I picked up this beautiful, oh my goodness, Ghana um medallion printed. I don't know fabric. Like, it is beautiful. It is no way it had literally the smallest of the purple. This one pink and purple. But I didn't care. It was too freaking cute. It had the, like the gold. Like, just ah. Uh, I made a pleated, a box pleated skirt. It has a zipper and everything. Like, I had this thing laid out on my mom's uh, table and I was like, I measured in between where the pleats were. Like, I did math. With this, I watch a few tutorials. You know, I didn't do it on top of my head, but I did math with this. Bought the planted out and math and marked off where the police was folding and stuff. And then I did like a waistband, the hemline, like oh, this skirt is everything. I got some gold like thread from Joanne Fabrics once again. I'm at Joanne Hancock Fabrics. I got some thread, and I was just like that's what I use. The waistband was supposed to fold down in half. But I don't know what happened. I don't think I ever finished it. And then I decided against it because I liked it either way. But yeah, the waistband is supposed to fold down to be half. Oh, I know what it was. It was uneven. See, when I attached the zipper, the waistband, the line didn't add up. So I never folded it down. But you don't even notice that when I'm wearing it. I'm just telling you guys. I, I, I just be out here. Love this. This is like one of my favorites. It's like top. It's like top. Top. I'm in a box with skirt. Like next one is a piece you guys should already have recognized. You should already know. You should know this is recent. This is really recent, guys. This Kente cloth inspired uh, tunic that was supposed to be a tunic that I made a dress. Padded made from a padded piece. Love this. So excited. I had this fabric for years. I had the fabric for John Hancock. I keep saying John Hancock. Hancock fabric was closed. And Hancock fabric was closed like in 2015. Yeah, it closed like in 2015. It closed before I left Ohio. And I had this for years. And I just did something with it like this May. Like April. And I just did something with it in February. Love this. I even call myself modifying. I didn't, you know, I changed some things about it. But it's still like, ugh. It's so freaking cute. It's so freaking cute. Ooh, my bad, guys. So freaking cute. So proud of myself for this. You know, I'm even proud of myself when I make something and I wear it for a while and it don't fall apart. That is like the best thing ever. Because that should be nice. Uh, next one is another recent piece. You guys remember this? And I don't know why it's not on a hanger. This thing is just so long. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. I thought I was. And it is the floral wrap maxi dress ah oh, so much fun putting together this is another fabric i had for a minute uh, not a minute i had it for like a year or so because i brought it before i left ohio back in 2016 about this time last year 2016 and i didn't do nothing with it until april may um this one is i have to go back and change some things some of the seams are coming apart the skirt is entirely too long I have to like hem it because it's literally like when I was wearing it, when I wore it to Carbondale to my friend's graduation, I had to like fold the waistband under for the skirt. The skirt was tiny too long, like it was, it just, it was extra long in the front. I don't know how that happened. 
Anywho, love this. Love this. And also, I gotta make some um, straps for it. Not straps. The waist tie. Because that's what masters have. They have waist ties. Um, most recent, well, most recent DIYs is, um, this denim skirt, and this one is, you guys haven't seen me do this one because it's for the vlog, which is coming, guys, it's coming, I promise you, August, August, um, it's this denim skirt, this was a longer denim skirt that I had, I think I mentioned this is one of my favorite thrifted pieces, or an honorable mention in that video, but, this was a longer actual vintage not vintage thrifted retro denim skirt and i just cut it cut the length off of it and it's one of those you know famous in trend button down skirts so cute so freaking cute literally wear this i could dress this up wear this down wear this with anything like literally um i know there's other pieces that i made that i really really love and obsessed but those are some of the ones that stick out in my mind the most before i started diying clothes i started i diy accessories i'll be watching something or see something like oh my god i want that necklace or purse or earrings so i started making my own jewelry i would start off with like the button earrings um i, I went and brought button kits and i used the same fabric that i got like from my turbans this is the same material from the blazer from the cuff of the blazer, I made earrings to match. Like, I was just, ah! I did the most, I used to go to the thrift store and buy like old broken jewelry and reconstructing people through that. Um, two of the first like actual, like solid set of pieces, set, accessory pieces I made was these clutches. The envelope clutches was real popular back in 2014, 2015. That was a real big hit and I wanted one, but I refused to pay $35. $50, not refused. I didn't have $35, $50 to pay, but I did have $20 to go and get some fabric and some foam sheets and a cute button. And I made my own clutch. This is out of foam sheets and fabric. And I've made others. I made this one right here. You guys probably seen this fabric before. I have this fabric as a turban. I have made others and gave to friends as birthday gifts and such. Um, another thing I have DIY'd are necklaces. You know, the, the African rope necklaces, really popular. I made this from the same fabric I made the skirt from. It was really popular. It took me a minute to figure out how to make these. Like, it, that was a journey on me learning how to make these. That was, like, a long process for whatever reason. And then I also made, like, jabets. Like, you know like the French English jabets the gentlemen used to wear and then you know back in the 20s and 30s the women used to wear them like little secretary jabets oh I've also made some of my favorite things I made is like these head dresses I have another one over there and it's broke I need to fix it I made these uh last year yeah for last year for when I went to a music festival I made them for me and my sister's um, just cute little headdresses. I insert pictures of me wearing it. You guys probably seen this in like a video from like my spring lookbook or something. Last year lookbook. Um, this one, this one is could be a headpiece as well as a necklace. Um, like I, I do too much. I do too much. But yeah, um, if you guys have any specific DIYs that you want to see, I know one of somebody messaged me about an umbrella skirt. I really haven't seen those. I really know what the, I really don't know what that is, but I have been researching to figure out how to make an umbrella skirt. And as soon as I get some more fabric that is coming. Thank you. 